Hi there, welcome back to the second round my opponent chose to play, so we basically won the roll and he's chosen to mulligan, so even better. And we're not going to mulligan this, we've got the, uh, the divination combo, and we've got, you know, stuff to do on turns 2, 3, and 4. So, yeah, we'll keep. See where he stops. He stops at 6, fair enough. And we draw something fairly good. Play the mountain to bluff the galvanic blast, I guess. Uh, Iron Mir. Guess we get another chance to bluff it. Stop to think. Tap the mountain. Untap the mountain. Yeah, let's untap. You know, play with him a bit. See, see what here. Uh, see if he starts playing around it. Paris Miz. Pretty good. The old Nim Death Mantle stuck in my hand, as expected. I really don't like that card. A lot of people seem to think it's a bomb, but most of the time, unless you've got like replicas and stuff, most of the time it just does nothing. Let's make a Perilous Mere. That will probably stop him attacking, seeing as he didn't make a third land. And next turn. If he doesn't make a land this turn, I guess next turn I'll just eat it with Rusted Slasher. Yep, yeah, I'll eat his Iron Man now. So, bash there. I think I'll do it in his upkeep. Just to kind of protect me against, I don't know, if he wants to galvanic blast it in response or something. Uh, so I have a stop in his upkeep, so yeah, I'll do it then. Bam. Means if he somehow makes a haste creature, I can attack now. Uh, I can block now. Okay, so he kills it in response. So I'll sack this in response. Don't really like how he did that, because now my Rusted Slasher still has a regeneration shield on it. So I mean, even if he finds a way to kill it now, it won't actually die, because it still has a shield. Uh, yeah, just start bashing now. Bam. This is a pretty nice combo, Pierce Strider with Nim Death Mantle and Rusted Slasher. Four mana, drain you for three, regenerate my guy. Although, to be honest, I don't think I'll have time to assemble this combo because it looks like he's just not drawing lands. See, pretty good for me. I guess I'll make the mantle anyway. No real point in making dace. Uh, in fact, is there? Yeah, might as well. It's not like it gives anything away. And yeah, he concedes. And we're drawing our white land as well. How lucky. We didn't really see any of his deck, so we might as well just submit as per usual. See if he changes his mind. Yeah, he chose to play first again. And, hmm. I think I'm going to keep this hand, actually. He's mulling into six again. Uh, he says, wow. So I, mm, I think that probably means his six cards are bad as well. No, I'm going to mulligan. I don't think it's worth the risk. I don't think it's worth giving him a free win. Off a of mulligan to five. Yeah, <laughs> mulliganing as well. So I'll join him. Maybe should have kept my original. No, this one's not too bad. So we both go to five at least. Is he not making? I thought <laughs> he might not make a land there. Just don't want to go to four. Keep zero land five. Yeah, I think I should have kept my uh, my original seven. Could have got a still sabotage off there as well. <laughs> Never mind. Obviously, draw 
all three colours, and the, the rest of the hand's pretty good too. I've got three drop and two four drops. Hmm. Looks like his five are not bad. All have got there, five cards, all three colours. Yes, I would. And pull the Thopter assembly out. Wonder if that will get a reaction off him. He seems to have paused. He's probably typing something out. How lucky I am to have opened Thopter assembly. No, nope, he didn't say anything. Yeah, I'll take this block. Rather than giving him a chance to put Viridian Claw on it. Blight Widow. That's a pretty good card to put Viridian Claw on. Um, yeah, I'll just make this. And pass. The next and if I draw a land I'll make clone shell. If I don't, I'll probably just pass. So I can block and do the tricksy stuff. With a Nim Death Mantle. Except okay, never mind. <laughs> Forget that. Yeah, I'll make my clone shell now. So yeah, it looks like both of us have done pretty well off these mulligans to five. But I've got an atomist. That's a pretty good one to hit. I do have a lot of good creatures though. I mean, sure, I pulled out the, the Thopter assembly, but I still have a lot of high value creatures that I can take out. Yep, I will just take that. Get a free anatomist, save some damage. And mortar pod. Not a threat right now. I guess he might double up to kill anatomist. Yeah, he might do that. Looks like that is what he was doing because he just tried to equip. Trade off acid web spider for anatomist, that seems fair. That's exactly what he's doing. Hmm. Sure. How about I'll just do that instead? All the bombs. Seem to be making a habit out of opening bombing sealed decks for Black Border Vids. Because my last one, I don't know if you watched my last one, but I had Bensa, um, the 3 4 mythic guy with Battle Cry and makes tokens, and Firex and Rebirth. And then. I'm going to hit him for 9, he goes to 4. Then I guess I just make Rusted Slasher. Play around creeping corrosion or something. Sure, it's a token. Keep the land in hand just in there. Uh, keep bluffing that cavern, plus just in case he somehow has a way of making me discard a card. Horrifying revelation. You never know. And he's tapping out for Fangrim Marauder. Does that stop me attacking? Uh, he'd go to nine. And yeah, that does actually stop me attacking because of first strike. That's not a bad one though. 
As soon as I draw a mountain, he's just dead. Oh no, wait, no, because, yeah, I'd have the same problem with Fangrim Marauder. Never mind. Is he going to attack? No. Top assembly versus Fangrim Marauder is a bit of a, an awkward situation, but at this point, I don't really mind um, him gaining some life because I'm going to have a bunch of flyers. Ah, yeah, Mortipod on Iron Man, that's pretty nice. I mean, mainly because it gains him life. Oh, look, I drew a Thopter Assembly, how lucky. Um, yeah. I'll just remake my Thopter Assembly. Then next turn, hopefully, bash him for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I need to find a way of... In fact, no, I can't really do that. I guess I kill him in two turns instead. Oh no, because Blight Widow as well, yeah, Blight Widow blocks. So I may have to wait a while here before I can start pushing through, but I mean, obviously, I have a pretty good board position to be able to do that. If I draw a mountain, I guess I'll just off the Blight Widow. See if I attack, I'll just be giving him free life because of Blight Widow. So I'll just start making some Mir, I guess. Wonder if I can get into a turn where I just kill him with one hit. I can probably do that in a couple of turns. Because he'll be on. He'll be killing. In fact, no, he gained 10, 15. Just off Iron Mir, Mortar Pod, and Blight Widow. So he's effectively on 19 if I'm considering attacking. Um. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Uh, sorry. Block that. I'm not too bothered about my Thopter Foundry right now. I think. In fact, I'm not too bothered about my life either. Yeah, I'll take three. Whatever. Really need a way of killing that Fangrim Marauder. I don't want to do it yet though. I'd rather just um Yeah, I would rather uh does can you have a way of making me discard? I don't think so. So yeah, what I'll do is I'll sack the perilous mare next turn. And then I'll have enough damage to um kill the Fang and Marauder, because I don't I don't care about the Blight Widow nearly as much as I care about the Fang and Marauder. For fairly obvious reasons. And seeing as I'm about to kill the Fang Marauder, I guess I'll just give him some life. And I can't not block this forever. So yeah, I'll put that there. At least this way it means he has to sack down a bunch of stuff. Well, not a bunch of stuff. He has to sack down two cards if he wants to finish it off. I mean, I would have put Viridian Claw on it at first, to be honest, but he obviously wasn't thinking that far ahead. I have, a, have five life. It's on me. Another Scourge Servant, sure. Is he going to finish off Thopter Foundry? 
Most likely not. I doubt. I don't know. He'd, he'd be losing an Iron Mirror and a Scourge Servant, so it wouldn't be too bad. I mean, he's definitely thinking about it. No, he didn't do it. Okay. So, yeah, I'll just do this. Although at this point, I might just kill Blight Widow. <laughs> yeah, having... Hmm, actually, I don't know. I'll think about it. No, I definitely want to kill Fangren because I, I'm pretty sure if I do attack with everything, he'll block Thopter Foundry so I can still sabotage the Viridian Claw. And then uh, Blight Widow dies anyway. So yeah. Uh, just check I'm not missing anything. No, I don't think so. That's three and one. Okay. I guess he's going to gain a bunch of life with Iron Man now. Yeah, he'll mortar pot it up. Just wondering, if I did kill the Blight Widow there, he would have gained 10 in response. Well, 15, because I'm sacking me, so he would go to 24. And then I'd attack him for 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He'd get to 14, but then still have the Fang and Marauder. I don't know. I'm not sure if that's the right play, killing the Fang and Marauder there. I guess this way I play for the late game much better. Because once my Thopter Foundry has counters on it, I can sack all my Thopters down to Rusted Relic, uh, sorry, Rusted Slasher and bring it back. So, I'm still not sure if that's right or not. Uh, so he's killing a Thopter. Sure, I'll just regenerate my Rusted Slasher. So now I need to actually do this. Yes, I would. Perilous Man goes down. That finishes off the Fang and Marauder. And now I attack with. Um, don't really want to run that into Scourge Servant, so. I guess I'll just send in the Thopters. If I attack with these, I guess that would run into Dark Steel. That would run into Blight Widow and that into Scourge Servant, so yeah, that seems like a bad attack. Yeah, I'll just send in the Flyers and hope that he blocks my 5-5 um, five five with his Blight Widow. Pretty sure he will. Yep. Awesome. So now I can return Viridian Claw. Hopefully that wrecks him. So yeah, I got to kill both his problem creatures in one turn. So it turned out pretty good for me. I mean, to be honest, the, the Fire Fiend or Flame Fiend, whatever it's called, was probably winning anyway. He normally does. He's reverting in Claw, how lucky. That was a joke if you didn't notice. Often they don't come off too well. I mean, often I do say pretty dumb things, like the the last one where I spent five minutes going on about the Modo bug with Firex and Rebirth, when it was actually because I didn't know what Gore Vassal did. Yeah, I'm not too bothered about his Scourge Servant. So he attacks. Um, so he's tapped out, and he's got one blocker left. So that's three, four, five, six, seven... 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 17, 18, 19. So I actually have, I actually can block, just to be safe. And he's still dead anyway. I 
I mean, he's tapped out, so I didn't really need to be safe, but whatever. Everyone comes in, and I'm pretty sure that's exactly lethal if my quick bit of maths was right. Obviously, it might not have been, because it was very quick. But I'm usually quite good with numbers. That's why I prefer limited to constructed, because it's all about numbers. And he doesn't even bother blocking the right one. Yeah, he goes to minus one and blocked a three power guy. So yeah, cool. And was that match? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I'd forgotten it was match. Okay, fair enough. I'll see you for the next round. Oh! <laughs>